exclusive forecast is provided by WLKY Weather. Whenever you need the forecast, just ask, what's Jay say? Hi, everybody. I'm WLKY Chief Meteorologist Jay Cardosi. Okay, a couple of real nice holiday events going on this coming weekend around Kentucky. Anna, let's start off in Madison. We have the Very Merry Madison Christmas Parade happening. This is Saturday at 11 o'clock in the morning. The route, it begins at Jefferson and also Maine, and it will continue to Mill Street. And the weather looks pretty good for that event. A little bit farther south in LaGrange and Oldham County, we have a light up LaGrange going on on Main Street. Breakfast with the Grinch during the late morning hours. During the mid-afternoon, we have the United Way 5K. And finally, the light up event itself happening around 630 up until 9 o'clock Saturday evening. Here's that detailed forecast. 56 in the afternoon, partly cloudy, dropping into the 40s Saturday evening. Have a great time. Hey, Jay, tell us what do you say? Hey, Jay, what do you say? We can count on you. After two decades, we can say a lot about Jay Cardosi. We can say he has your most accurate forecast and is the Ohio Valley weather expert. But it's not about what we say. What matters is what's Jay say. What's Jay say about your weekend plans, your Little League game? His answer is still the one more people trust. Want to know the forecast? Just ask. What's, what's Jay, Jay say? Hello, I'm Debbie Crawford, and we are here with Mr. Ray Black of the Light White Boys and Girls Club. He's the director here, and there's some cool things for December. What are those, Ray? Oh, man, we're busy. We're, we're, we're lots of activities going on. We've got basketball games. We'll be starting in December, and uh, we've got seven different leagues that are playing here Monday through Friday, and then we have four leagues playing here on Saturday and Sunday so about a uh, thousand people coming through our doors uh, every week just for basketball and that's not counting all the other activities or after school care uh, we've got about 175 children coming in now those kids come in around 2 215 in the afternoon don't they They get here about 2 30 2 45 right. and we have them coming in from all of the school local schools and uh, they unload and bus drops them off here then parents usually pick them up so uh, 175 kids is a normal day uh, walk what we call walk-ins right and then we also have tutoring and uh, we are uh, we actually have three different programs on tutoring one is the one that we do here we call it homework club and then uh, they take about 25 to 40 uh, students per day right and work with them on homework and then we have about 60 over at EO Muncie every Monday through Thursday and then Monday through Thursday at the junior high we have around 20 so that's a lot of children getting tutored and help with homework uh, Monday through Thursday uh, thanks to the Boys and Girls Club. Now they can still sign up for that, can't they? They can, and we'll have a second session starting in January for the uh, uh, a new sign-ups. Mm -hmm. But uh, just stop in, uh, talk to our staff, and they'll be glad to help you sign up for one of those three uh, help with homework clubs. That's great for kids. I mean, yes. any time of the year they need that. Sometimes they it's just a just a few minutes with somebody explaining it to them makes a big difference. Well, it lessens the times that the parents will have to take and try to go back in the memory zone and remember uh, formulas. That and doesn't all always that work. Stuff. So, yeah, not that's for not me good. Anyway. So, uh, we'll take and help them. And uh, uh, now we can't do everything, but we'll help them and uh, make a good start on it. Right. Now, this is going to be December. This is the time of the year mm -hmm. that the kids are going to be out of school. Your hours are going to change. We're going to actually shut down during the week of Christmas right. and, and New Year's. Uh, so that we'll be on our normal school hours up until school break. So the hours will change yeah. during the break. So so uh, we'll be open uh, uh, two. Two o'clock till six, and then we're here till about eight or eight thirty because of different activities. Right. But uh, 
during the week of shutdown, we're going to shut down between Christmas and New Year's this year to work on cleaning and maintenance on the building. So yeah. we haven't done that for a couple of years, and we got to do that. Well, you you clean the building really well. It's just you get need to do some more intense. That's right. Type well, things. maintenance type stuff. You're right. Yeah. So. So what's we'll the date that. that it will be closed? It'll be closed. Uh, we'll have our Christmas party on December 22nd. Right. And uh, we'll close down that that night and we won't open back up until i want to say january 3rd so uh we'll take an open back up then oh that's awesome well you all yeah. need to, that, that makes it easier for you to do that you, kids don't need to be here when you're doing that type of work that's so. right that's right but uh, they're here almost all the time other than that right and uh we have lots of activities we have fencing still going on we have right. wrestling going on and then as i mentioned all the basketball leagues so right. uh teen nights are going to start back up so we're excited about that. We'll have just uh, ninth through 12th graders participating in that. And we'll have the IBA, Aramural Basketball Association uh, for high schoolers. And they'll play four on four in the gym. So signups are going on for that right now. So any high schoolers uh, that want to play some winter basketball and they didn't make the varsity teams in this area, Come to the Boys and Girls Club and sign up for our IBA. Oh, that'd be awesome. That so. will be. So now then the things we need to remember are that the club will be closed starting uh, December... 22nd. 22nd. And after then open. the 22nd. And then we'll open up on, I believe, January 3rd. Close December 22nd to January the 3rd, yeah. and then you'll reopen. Yes. Well, that's... When they go back to school. Yeah, that's good. So, yep. <laughs> so is there anything else we need to make sure people know about the Boys and Girls Club? Well, we're doing our uh, year-end. We do a Christmas shopping spree. Right. So we're taking donations for that, and we can only take the number of kids on the shopping spree depending on how much is given right. toward that. So we work closely with Shop with the Cops, Shop with the Farm and right. Salvation Army and other groups that are doing that so that people don't uh, can't hit three or four different groups. Right. So we work with them and uh, we try to take care of our club members first and then uh, if we have some left over we'll help any child. It does not matter. Right. So, oh, that's great. So they can mail their uh, donations to us at uh, Post Office Box 1128, uh, Mass in Indiana, 47250. Also, we have a website you can go to. That is www.lidewhite.com, so lidewhite.com. Uh, our telephone number is 812-265-5811. And we're up here... In the uh, beautiful Madison State Hospital grounds, yeah. 1551 MSH Northgate Road. So make sure you come by here and check out some things with Ray. Ask him if he needs a volunteer or if you want to drop off a donation. He's got all kinds of things in his pocket. He can help you. Yeah. <laughs> he and, can help you fill your time. And we want to wish everyone a very happy holidays. Enjoy time with your family and your children. And Merry Christmas. Well... Like I said, make sure you come check things out. And as always, we thank you for watching.